Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Elizabeth with TheDailyCourse.com, and right now I'm chilling with the guys from the White Tie Affair. This gonna be a party tonight. And do you think Good afternoon. I'm Sean. I play guitar and uh, programming. Uh, my name is Ryan, and I play bass. My name is also Ryan, and I play the keys, and I also sing, and I also like to party. I'm Chris. I sing. Tim, I play the drums. So I just want to start off by saying congratulations. You guys just signed with Epic, and uh, yeah. can you just Woo! thank you? Uh, can you just <laughs> give us uh, an explanation why you guys decided to go with them? Um, you know, we 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 talked to a, a couple different labels, and uh, Epic just they they supported us the most. They were they were passionate about about what we do, and uh, we want somebody that's passionate behind us. Well, since they've supported you and what you guys do, um, how have they helped you develop into a better band? I think a big part of it's been they've given us a lot of creative control and kind of just let us take the time to write and do the things that we wanted to do, and that's helped a lot and also supported us in a lot of the ideas that we've had. So uh, you guys have a CD coming out. It's called uh, Walk This Way. Um, comes out April 22nd. So uh, can you guys kind of give us like a little sneak peek on what your fans can expect with the CD? Is it different from what the music is on your MySpace? Uh, our CD is like a, uh, what can I say, a roller coaster ride? Of emotion? Of emotion. Uh, there's, some, there's some party, a whole, a whole lot of heartache, and um, just, a lo just a lot of fun. So what do you think, Ryan? Uh, I, I would have to agree with Chris. It's it's a it's a dance party, and uh, it's it's going to be a good summer record. I really I'm, I'm feeling that for sure. You said that there's a lot of heartache and emotional stuff going on in your guys' current CD that's going to come out. So I mean, are these like personal experiences you guys gone through, like friendships you've lost, girlfriends you've probably broken hearts, stuff like that? Notice she looks at Sean. I've broken many hearts. Yes. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you already told me like Ryan Moore. Um, I think a lot of it. It can be in a, I mean, a lot of it is it's all a lot of based off personal experience. However, we try to keep it to the point where, you know, we don't get too in depth, so you can kind of take it the way that you want it, you know, so um, it doesn't dig in too much into our personal lives, and everyone could you know, relate to a song emotionally, and it's a little bit easier that way for other people and the fans to get down. True with that. It. True that, son. Mic tap, mic tap. Clink. For the fans out there that have never been to a live show, what can your fans expect, and what do you want your fans to get out of a show? Well, uh, I think they can just expect uh, a party, a lot of fun, you know. We, we go up there and we do our thing, and uh, I think we really uh, we show people a good time. And uh, I think that's the most important thing about what we do. So, so. should your fans expect to do a lot of dancing? Absolutely, right. absolutely. Well, is there any sort of advice you can give out to bands out there that are, like, trying to get noticed, that are trying to get signed? Like, what made you not give up is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, right before we started this band, I actually uh, enrolled in college, and um, I actually, uh, when we got done with like our first song, uh, I dropped out of college. So, don't drop out of college. I'd say. But uh, um, but definitely just just you know, usually at, at a really good song sneaks up on you at, at at a crazy time in your life, and just just keep working at it. Is is, is all I gotta say. I'd say. That's true. I mean, the biggest thing I see a lot of a bands do is they'll get a couple of decent songs and they'll go out there and just tour their ass off. One of the biggest things that we did differently is we wrote. Like, writing is so important as far as like taking your time and doing it right. So we spent a lot of time writing to get the songs. How many, how many songs do you think we wrote for this album? I, lo I, I lost count. There's I think like, the ADD kicked in. It's like so. 10 songs on the record. There's like two B-sides. I think that'll be on iTunes. And I think we probably did 25 of them, 25 songs. Somebody said that they would be willing to do something for a certain amount of cash, and oh. <laughs> I have seven dollars. Oh, Hold on, I think I know what this is talking about. <laughs> Wait a minute, Tim is sad on that. That has to go up another dollar. <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this eight dollars right here—that's a lot of money. I don't give a shit. Tim, I man, have sit a very down, good sit down on that. Man. You got a shot of the uh, saliva. I definitely can't top that, so I just want to give you guys a big thank you for sitting down with thedailycourse.com, and I we wish you the, the best course. of luck, and can't wait for your CD, can't wait to see you guys play. True that. 
<laughs> and I want to also give out a special thanks to Bunky Boutique, which is this right here. They uh, provided this lovely artwork to give us the interview. Awesome. And you can check out the White Tie Affair on their MySpace or, of course, thedailycourse.com, which is your daily source for new music.